okay what's up guys welcome back to code with clinton so the e-commerce restful api we are building with django rest framework is gonna co is continues it continues right so right now we will focus on cart items you get so we will be able to get cart items we can add to cart you can add cart items to a given cart we can update the quantity of a cart item we can delete cart items instead so what are cart items cart items are those products in a given cart so we'll be able to perform crude operations on cart items you understand so right now let me show you something so right now here's my this, right now we have a cart here this is a cart and inside of this cart we have some cart items we have about two of them we have this product here this is one of them this is a given product in the stand title is called this is beans so we have another product we have another cart item here so now we have two cart items in this cart you can see this this is the id of the cart on top understand and this is the cart items we have inside here right here right you get so this is the cart item so once i go down to four slash items and four slash items also right now I want to simply get only the items without having to point down to the id of the cart understand so right now just click put that there four slash items so let's see what it gives us enter okay i think i called it cut items let's see cut items enter so right now you can see now we have just the items in this cut up here this cut you see here in the stand this cut with this given id we have just the items here in the stand these are just the items and if i go down to right now we have our id we have one of the we have right now we have right now one of the cut items has an id of four you can see that the ones i put in four there i'm gonna go down to the detail page so right now we have the detail of a particular cart item so we're going to work on this in this tutorial in this particular video whereby we can get cart items and this time we can get them so now go down to your code so here we are here we are in the stand so right now we're working with nested routers in the stand we are going to continue using nested routers in the stand i already made i already made a tutorial on nested routers i will link that down below in the video description check it out instead and if, and if you don't know how to use view set and if you don't know how to use view sets and routers check below you're gonna find the links to the episode on the view set and routers instead so if you're new to this series if you're completely new so i i encourage you to go and watch the previous episodes instead i think right now we're on episode 13 or 14 so go and watch the previous episode instead so that's it for that so now let's continue so right we'll go down to my let's go down to our view let's see how it looks like here okay now so let's see so now we have currently we have our card view set this is our card view set so that's fine so what i want to do now is this i'm going to create a new view set in this time so that's going to be our card item view set so before i do that we're going to create a serializer so let's see our serializer. let's see this go down to your serializer.py file serializer.py file i need my cut item view set my cut item serializer rather so let's look for that so here is my cut item serializer i think it's not bad okay here is it cut item serializer here so we already have a cut item serializer understand so right now i'm going to go down to my views and create mm -hmm. a mm -hmm. and create a Cut a, a view set for our cart item. I'm gonna say, come here, say class cart, cart item. Let me explain that correctly. Cart item view set. So it's gonna generate from model view set. Understand? Model view set enables us to perform crude operations on this, on this, on this particular model. Understand? So we can perform the we, we can be, we can we can get all the cut items we can retrieve them a single cut we can update we can delete you understand we can create you understand so it was perform four operation which is the create retrieve update and delete so i'm going to say model view set so we're going to nice some model view set now so this is it for that so if, you, if you've noticed my story on model view sets on view set and routers I have it linked down in this video's description so go on and watch it so you understand everything instead so that's it now so i'm going to say query sets should be equal to cut item cut item where is cut item oh. I, need, I need to import cut item at the top we're going to say from stock up models we're going to import cut 
items so it's called cut items there so the bottom now say cut items dot objects dot all and then we'll have our serializer class should be equal to cut item serializer we already have that so that's it now so once we've done this now we'll go down to our urls understand go down to urls.py file so now we are here perfect we are here now so we are going to be working with nested routers understand so if you don't know how nested routers work go down to the, 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 the go down to go to, just check the description of this video the description of this video i have a link to the episodes where you can go watch it and understand you get so that's it for that so let's continue so right now we're going to create our child We are going to create our child router in the stand. So we already have our parent router. So our parent router is going to be is, is the cat. This is our parent router here. Yeah? You stand. If you check the, we check the domain. If you check the URL, we have cat. Then cat item. So cat is the parent router. So we want to create a child router, which is the cat item. So let's do that right now. So let me just come over here now. Let's create our child router. I'm going to say cat underscore router. Router. I mean router. And then I'm going to simply say routers routers is coming from we imported routers from rest framework nested we imported routers is here so i'll say routers dot nested default router dot nested default router then i'll come over here now i'll put in our parent router our parent router is what is the cat router if i'm right sorry so here's our parent router this point here and, it's, and it's, this, that's it there so i'll say router which is up here you stand so put in router you stand router then i'll put in this our parent prefix which is called cat and after that we're going to put in, we're going to put up our lookup parameter lookup so go and watch nested router so you understand what i'm doing here it's called lookup and then they're going to be called cats instead cats that's it for that so we'll continue now i'll simply say cat router dot register instead so right now as me say cat items let's just say items rather let's just say items so items then we'll point down to our view sets to the cat item view set which we have here so come down here, let's do that now. So cut item, I'm gonna say say views dot cut item view set. And then I'm gonna put our base name. This base name is simply the is simply the prefix. It's the base name simply refers to that. You know, you know where whenever you're working with URL, you usually have the name argument that instead so something like this. You get uh base name is simply whenever i have views that let's just say views that cut items and then we have the name parameter which is equal to you can just you can simply just say items so this is what base name does this is what base name does this name you see here you understand so if i'm wrong you can correct me if you have a different opinion just correct me in the comment section so we have base name and then i'll simply say cut and then items so that's it for that so that's it for that there so now we have it we have everything working everything is working now so once i go down to four slash items you understand so we should be able to see the giving a given item for a particular cat you understand so let's try that now so i need to get all the ids of my cats i need to get all the id of my cat so let's go down go down to my admin panel one two seven let me say admin enter So log in there. Oh, Queens at Gmail. So log in. So let me get my cart. Let me get some of the height. I have a lot of them here. Wow, wow, wow. Which of them is filled up. So let's try this one. So come over here. Let me say one to seven. Then we we'll simply say my correct. Let's say cats. No, I think it's called. Let's see if I'm right. 
okay go down to cards so let's put in the id there enter oh this card item is empty each of them is filled up i can't find out now okay right now i've already gotten the particular cards in the stand so we have the cards here so then we have the instance of a card to this id and we check it now we check if you just watch now we have all the ids in this we have all the sorry we have all the we have some items on this card in the stand so right now if i go down to i think i called it items if i go down to items you check here see why i called it items i called it items here instant items so go down to the browser now just me say items enter oh, i made a mistake again sorry what do i call it again i think it's items right items oh what was wrong oh now i guess why it's not working i forgot to add this to my url patterns i forgot to add this so let's add this to the url patterns so i forgot to do that so just scroll down just come over here and just see say parts and then put in this and then we say include and simply say include make sure it's include correctly include and then simply say cart router dot url cart router dot urls so that's it for that so the page right now refresh and see it should work now oh it says cart item object has no attributes items so where is this coming from so let's see let's see your views i think it's coming from our views of wi-fi so it's called cart item serializer understand it's not the cart serializer it's going to be the cart item serializer cart item let me, let's make sure it's imported there let's import the cart item serializer i'm going to say from cart item serializer So come over here now. It's cut item serialize. Now we're working with the cut item view set. So it's going to point out. So it's, it is meant to point to the cut item serializer. You understand? So please drop a like for me. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. That's what helped me grow. So to so so for me to get motivated viewing this video. So do well to just like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate. So now let's go down again. So refresh this page. So right now we have all the items in the given cart. We have all the items. We have about three of them. Three items in the given cart. If I go down to ID 307, 307 here. Yeah. Enter. Perfect. We have we have a specific. Right now we have the instance of a cart item. You understand? So what, right now, just watch something. I'm going to pick a different cart ID. And come over here now. Cart ID. So right now this this. So I picked, I got a different cut ID. It's gonna be a different cut. So right now, go down to your cuts instance. So I'll change the ID right now. I'll change the ID paste and okay. Go down to item. You can see right now. You can see that this cut has no items, right? So if I, once I go down to items, you're gonna see something. And take a see now this cat has no items but right now let's go down to items all the cat items we have is going to display this place for all the cats and drunk want to have cat items specific to a cat cat items are meant to be specific they are meant to be specific to a cat in the stand so but right now once i come down to this to this um endpoint items you are going to have all the cat items under every cat and that is wrong so Go down to your view set. We need to do something right now. So now for this query set, now we're going to come over here. So we'll simply replace this one. And I'm going to use a function based query set. Let me say dev get underscore query set. So now simply now we return. So right now I want to return cut items based on the ID of the cuts. Understand? Based on the ID of the cuts. Understand? So let me say come over. Let me say cut item cut items right dot objects dot future so it's gonna be it's gonna simply be equal to I don't know face cut items based on the cut ID so gonna say cut underscore ID should be equal to self dot keyword ads keyword ads now so and then you must me say cuts underscore pk instead cuts underscore p 
PK. So this is so you see this cat underscore PK will be gotten from the URL. You understand? It's gonna be gotten from here. So now we are featuring cat items based on the cat ID. You understand? So that's what we are doing here. That's what we just did over here now. So whenever you're trying to like do a a kind of filter or instant or perform some, or, or do some kind of conditions, we are going to use the, we are meant to use the get query set function. But if you are simply querying all your all all data in a particular model, you can simply just use query set in the stand and then say the model dot object dot all in the stand. So right now we are we are doing some kind of query. So we are going to use the query set function, right? So let's see what it gives us now. So refresh this page now. So right now, I think we have nothing like that. We have nothing, we have nothing like that now. So let's go back. Let's get it. Let's get a different. Let's get this cut item. I think it's this. I think this one has some. Let's see now. happening so right now we're on this cart right we're on this particular cart and we, these are all the items there we have about three of them instead so once i go down to items enter we have just the items for that cart you can see all the items just for that cart perfect instead there is no cart there is no cart id on top again just the items for the cart instead so that's fine you can see, you can see your difference just look at the difference now this is different as the ID of the cards, but right here, if I go down to items, we have just the items for that card, understand? So, this is it. So, right now, this is the card ID, it starts with D A D dad, understand? This is the card ID. So, I'm going to get another card ID right now. So, control C, just come here, go to kind of card items, or let's just go down to card list. So I'll paste this cut item here, this cut ID, enter. You can see this cut ID does not have any item in it. So once I, once I go down to items, let's go down to items. Perfect, the item is still empty. It's still empty. But before, whenever I go down to items, all the cut, all the, the um, cut, um, let's add, so before, whenever I go down to items, the cut items displays for all the cuts, and that is wrong. Cut items are meant to display for a given cut, understand? So right now, this cart has no cart items, it's empty, so we can only fetch the cart items for a given cart, right? So come back here again. So copy this again, control C. That's the cart that has some that's that that's the cart with some cart items. So just simply paste this here, enter. It stands so you can see now go down to items now. Items because everything is working fine. So that's it for this now. So right now we are being right now we are able to get the cut items for a given cut. So next time we're gonna work on adding to cuts. So I'll see you there.